Hey, it's Sophie from Sales Real Thoughts. I'm here with Kristen from Sales on Film, and we went to AFI Fest, and now we are reviewing Rebecca Zlotowski's Grand Central. Yes, wow, congratulations on that name. <laughs> uh, I would not know how to say it. Yeah, so this is a French film starring two very hot and popular French actors, Taha Rahim and Lea Sedou. Yeah. Um, Tahar Rahim was from A Prophet, and he was also in another film at AFI Fest, The Past. And Lea Sudu is probably best known now from Blue is the Warmest Color. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, what was this movie about, so? It uh, takes place at a nuclear plant, and it is surrounded by a... It's what I call a soap soap opera because mm -hmm. it entails a love affair of uh, Tahir Rahim, Tahir, Tahar, Tahar Rahim and Leah, and I don't know. I just I like that it was set in such a such a different world, such as a nuclear plant, and it got really technical mm -hmm. at times. But then it contrasts to this very bland love story. Yeah, it's um, definitely a unique setting for a very familiar story. Yeah. So, um, both of the ASW's character Carol and Tahar Rahim's character Gary, the very French name Gary, um, are sort of drones. Like, uh, Mr. Burns has this quote about the drones in Sector 7G mm -hmm. at the power plant in uh, The Simpsons, and that's kind of what they are. They're like the blue-collar workers in the nuclear power plant and Gary um, does some work that's very close to the core so he and Carol's boyfriend played by Denis Menoche who you may remember as Monsieur La Petite at the beginning of Inglorious Bastards great performance there uh, he plays Lea Sidhu's character's boyfriend they all work in the nuclear power plant and they have to wear these um, uh, radiation monitors on their suits and at the end of the day they have to be below a certain level or else they go into like I guess quarantine and they can't work for a while so there's some tension there in the nuclear power plant when they're working especially because Tahar Rahim's character and Lea Sidhu um, engage in an affair and he's working like with her boyfriend the whole time so there's kind of like a love triangle there but the way that the love scenes are shot are very like pastoral and like they go off in like the reeds and like have sex and stuff so it's weird very weird that like it's contrasted with the very like aesthetic very cold world of the nuclear power plant and then kind of like the beautiful yeah. sexy french yeah. world of yeah. like their love there's affair. a lot of contrasts mm -hmm. that is taking place in the film and for me I don't know if it fully worked mm -hmm. as much as I wanted it to because yeah. it almost reminded me of Rust and Bone which mm -hmm. he was also he was an in sorry no the other oh god but um I like that because in Rust and Bone I felt like there were a lot of technical things that they really uh went into like the the fighting world and like um even her as like a whale trainer and that's what I saw in the Grand Central, but from it just didn't work as well mm -hmm. as I wanted it to. Yeah, and like it just there like, was a disconnect. Yeah, the contrasts don't really amount to like anything because sometimes when you contrast two things, you get similarities and differences, which casts the the settings in a different light, and you come to like some sort of understanding about them. Yeah. But here, it just seemed like they were contrasted for. The heck of it like there wasn't yeah. really like a connection between like the stakes are very high because he is going to be affected by the chemicals in this nuclear plant as well as this the um his love affair because he will get caught eventually. yeah it's basically like a radioactive romance yeah like, and so it's it kind just... of uh it's kind of like the some some parts of it are very obvious and i thought like the writing directing was okay but it wasn't anything stellar yeah. like to me it was kind of just well done but it never really came alive yeah it just it kind of felt a little a little meh yeah it really did at the very end i was like are you serious like okay i guess that's gonna how that's how it's gonna end although i mean it is interesting on the one hand to 
see like um, an inside view and a different view, yeah. especially considering how many nuclear power plants there are in France. And it's a country that I think, if I'm not mistaken, that that's their major energy source is nuclear power. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see like the effects of that on just regular everyday people. But beyond that aspect of it, there's not much to recommend yeah. in this movie. I know that uh, Rebecca used um, Leah Sadu in her first film, Belle Yiping. And so I, mm -hmm. like, I'm sure she wants to keep on, that's like her muse. And I haven't seen her first film, but I don't know. I don't know what to expect. This. Yeah, this was kind of just, I would just say it was okay. Yeah, Despite was... the presence of some really good actors in it, the material it never seems good enough for their capabilities. Yeah. I mean, both um, the past with Tahar Rahim mm -hmm. was better than this, and yeah. Blue, the Warm's, Blue is the Warmest <laughs> Color was way better than this. So it's kind of weird to see two actors that are capable of so much more be kind of uh, subdued and yeah. not being offered very challenging material in Grand Central. I mean, it was just good eye candy for yeah. For they're two both hours. they're both very good looking, and there are some nude scenes. Yeah, and so, so I was like, gay, but it's other than that, obviously, yeah, it was all right. But I still want to see her, Rebecca's previous work, and really support her because obviously she's a female uh, director who seems like she has a certain vision. It just didn't come fully alive. Yeah, yeah. I would agree with that. Okay. <sighs> What a shame. <laughs> but, um, all right. Well, there you have it. Follow sales on film.tumblr.com, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.